Hey, good morning YouTube and thank you for stopping by my channel. Uh, this is my second attempt at this video. I don't I kind of rambled a little bit in the first time so and I don't know why my glasses keep falling down but um, I hope that doesn't annoy you that I keep pushing them up. But I, what I wanted to talk today and I don't know why my nose is itching but I'm gonna have to deal with that through this video and uh, what I wanted to talk to you today is about adhesive and uh, there are a lot of videos out there about adhesive but the problem that I'm having right with mine is that the denture adhesive doesn't dry and uh, you may be having the same problem so let's talk about this a little bit what do I do in that case or whatever I try because I've tried the Equate brand poly super hold uh, Equate brand poly grip which is very cheap at Walmart I've tried the poly grip strips and I'm not going to really do a, a review on these products okay I have the secure denture adhesive which everybody says is like crazy glue and you're not going to use any other adhesive after you secure well that's not my case and I honestly the best one that I found so far is actually this fix that powder believe it or not okay um, it gives me a really solid hold with my upper and my lower plate I have that in today as you can see most of the time I um, my other videos I don't have my teeth in because I was allowing my gums to heal at that point right and uh, I'm almost 30 days in at this point uh, 30 days post extraction so if you're um, looking at videos your pre-extraction or even post extraction you're looking at well why can I use denture adhesive it was about a little over two weeks before I could um, three weeks excuse me before I got healed enough to the point where I don't know why my nose is itching so bad sorry um, three weeks to the point where my gums were healed healed enough that I could start using denture adhesive and I went in for my uh, adjustment and um, that went very well I think and uh, she adjusted my uh, dentures by putting paste in them and was able to grind out the high spots off my gums now that they're kind of healed and uh, so it worked very well thing is if if I if you watch some of my other videos you know that about three to five days after post extractions I didn't wear my dentures I basically gummed my food ate soft food they liquid foods and I was supposed to do a video on what I ate and I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet and uh, so I'm gonna talk I'm gonna probably make another video today about uh, eating so I will cover some of that uh, for those who are maybe pre-extraction and want to know well what am I going to eat okay and so I want to get into this and explain what I experimented with once I was given the go-ahead to use adhesive I did start off with the poly grip the equate super hold and you can there is a bunch of different poly grips out there so I mean you may want to try a different one uh, than I than I did um, when I initially initially I found that the poly grip worked very well on my upper it held it in because when I got my last adjustment done she wanted to do a soft reline I asked her to wait on that uh, let's wait a week and see how the denture fill without the without the soft reline in it and she agreed to allow me to to wait a week plus I'm waiting for it to see if a bone spur is going to come out on this side my upper on this side um, 
to have it removed from, by the dentist when I go in next, uh, in a couple days. So I used the polygrip the, initially. My when, when I got home uh, after my adjustments, my uh, upper and lower plate were just wobbly, loose. Uh, I probably kept them in a whole total of an hour after I got home from the dentist because they hurt so bad. And the next day I put them in and I, ha I had to literally keep my teeth clenched in order to keep them in because they would hit my gum and it would cause a sore spot and I couldn't wear my dentures more than a couple hours without any adhesive at all. And it was so frustrating. I thought, oh my God, I'm never going to get over this. And boy, was I wrong. Okay. Uh, with the adhesive, it really helps. It's not going to replace a soft reline or a hard reline or if you really have a wobbly or loose upper or lower plate. Okay, mine are slightly loose. My, um, when I got one adjustment done, the girl did it wrong. She ground off too much on the inside on my lower plate up front here. Um, in the back and what happens when I'm talking I can hear I can feel my tongue hit that little ridge that she created and that's something I might uh, try and address when I go in on this Thursday to see if they can fix because it key that's my problem area when I'm eating or I'm talking it pushes up on that ridge and it wants to pop my lower plate out from the front so it's really frustrating, you know, because someone did something, they probably weren't um, properly trained on how to adjust dentures. She made a mistake. I understand that. I'm going to see if we can get it fixed, though. So look for that update, probably. So or I might talk about that in another video, what I had done. Um, with my uh, maybe I'll, I'll cover my first soft reline that that'll be a good video because I haven't seen any YouTube videos on a dental soft reline so I might make that video and uh, so I went I used this initially just on my upper plate the dentist said to use little drops basically like little it almost looked like um, think of like a chocolate chip Right, dip, 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 all the way around that ridge on, on my upper denture, right? So my denture kind of looks like this, and it, and it, it curves up, you know. Um, so I have, this is a plate, so I, I put my little drops around here, I put it in, I didn't put anything in the bottom, immediately I felt uh, a huge difference in the way my suction on my upper plate was better. The denture actually stayed in. It wasn't putting pressure on the front. It wasn't putting pressure on the side. Huge, huge difference with the adhesive. And I'm so glad I was given the, uh, the go ahead to use the adhesive because prior to that, like I say, I had to keep my different teeth together, clenched, and how, how can you talk like this? You can't talk like that, right? In order to not have any pain, right? So I'm so glad the dentist finally gave me the go-ahead. And this is three weeks post-extractions, right? So I don't know what other people's methods are prior to that because I didn't use any adhesive. I was told not to use any adhesive because my extraction sites were very shallow, right? So I still have divots in my, where my extraction sites are. And those are very hard to clean out with the, adhes the denture adhesive in them. So I try and avoid those, although I have to do it with my bottom denture. I just don't, I don't have a choice in order to keep my bottom denture in, I have to. So I try and just lightly brush those areas, um, what I found to remove the denture adhesive is this mouthwash, alcohol-free mouthwash. I'll swish that around in my mouth for a minute or two, 
spit it out. That gets rid of most of, that gets rid of um, the secure, which I use in my bottom denture. I bought this on Amazon. Um, I think it was $6.99 for a tube. Uh, I have Prime, so it's free shipping. Um, that's the only place that I can find the secure. Now here in Texas, the dentist told me that you can probably buy secure at Sprouts. I haven't had a chance to go by and check. I'll update everybody if I do find it there for those of you who live out here in Texas. Or maybe another state, my Sprouts might carry it where you don't have to order it off Amazon every time. So I went to, I wanted to try the state. I, I was so frustrated with the, the cleaning the polygrip off my upper, upper dentures. Uh, I had to go buy uh, for a dollar. I bought firm um, toothbrushes to try and scrape off the, the adhesive off my gums. Um, the soft one wasn't working and I just feel like a, I've had a medium toothbrush before and I don't feel like it'd be strong enough to really kind of break down that adhesive because the adhesive in my mouth, it doesn't dry. It turns into a gel and I can't scrape it off. I can't peel it off. Um, I have to use the mouthwash and really vigorously swish it around in my mouth to get the, the adhesive off my gums to where I can spit it out. And then I take a, a I went and bought a washcloth. There's another gentleman on um, YouTube who suggested using a washcloth. I started using these before, but he said you can buy a pack of 18 for $5. Actually, I bought these today for $6.44 for the whole pack, which is still a deal. It's about 35 cents for a washcloth. So we have washcloths here at the house, but I'm not sure exactly. I think my wife used to use them to clean the bathroom and stuff like that. So I don't run a stick those in my mouth because um, I don't know how sanitary they are. So I actually went and bought my own. I'm going to clean these and these will become my washcloths for cleaning my mouth out from my dentures. Along with the toothbrush and the mouthwash, uh, use those combination of those three in order to kind of scrape and, and brush my gums and uh, wash out my mouth. It, it does take some time to wash out the adhesive. It's not a quick process. So be a little bit patient. Does, if you're having like my problem where the adhesive kind of gels up, it doesn't dry, um, you, it's gonna take a little bit of time to, to clean your mouth. So the next product that I tried actually was these Polygrip uh, strips instead of buying the Seabon. The Seabon was a little over $6 here in Texas. But what, what nobody's talking about on, online is the fact that you need to buy two packs. So you have to have a buy, buy an upper and you have to buy a lower. Well, that's double the cost. I bought these for a little over $5 at Walmart. And let me show you the, the these real quick. I used four of them, so there's 40 of them. There's 10 of these little four packs in there. And what you do is you, they're supposed to be able to peel this top, which I was never able to do. I ended up having to cut it. You take the strip out, you run it under water, and you apply it to your tray on either your upper or lower. I, I used two, uh, so think my denture is here. Sorry, my denture is here. And I put two strips on each side, which I figured would give me enough suction. They're long enough for my denture that I didn't have to cut them or, or tear them as they suggest. My bottom tray, I was able to lay two strips on each side here, right? And put them in. Well, these lasted all of about two hours before my dentures popped out and they wouldn't stay in afterwards. So 
I don't know. You can try the Super Polygrid and maybe drop me a comment. Let me know what you think or your experience with them. They didn't last more than two hours with me. And um, I had to take them out, clean my dentures, clean my gums, clean all the gunk off my gums, and just go toothless for the rest of the day. What I found actually kind of experimenting uh, and one other young lady on here talks about this. She loves this fixident powder. And believe it or not, I'm a fan of this. The only problem is this has zinc in it. So if you have an allergy to zinc, what I found is most fixident paste or powder contain zinc. So be sure to check the ingredient. Uh, list on the back of any package that you unless it says zinc free of course okay make sure that way you don't get sick if you have an allergy to zinc I'm not I'm not promoted by Fixident um, I just as of right now I'm a fan of this product because it's the only thing that's holding my dentures in along with using the super hole equate um, denture adhesive which is just like polygrip. So you can buy polygrip or you can buy this. It, it, it really won't matter. I put my six little dots on my top plate. I put a little bit of this powder on. I did that this morning. Put in my denture. And you have to wait a little bit. Get bite down. You have to bite down in order to get the, the denture seated correctly. And it, it will adhere is what I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm not gonna say it dries, because mine does not dry. Mine turns into a gel. But it creates enough suction on my upper that it keeps it in place. It doesn't move around when I'm talking. Initially, when I've been eating certain things, trying little things, it doesn't move around. My bottom did. And what I initially used was the Super Hole Poly Grip, and that did, just didn't work for me. Uh, my denture would move around. It created a sore spot on this side of my mouth um, for moving because my bite is off. So the dentist who did my uh, adjustment uh, somehow got my bite off. Uh, I thought it was correct that this last time I went in for an adjustment is still a little bit off, but it's getting better. And I think that's just primarily because of the heat adhesive that I've been using. So what I started using is Secure. And like I said, I bought this online on uh, Amazon. I think it was $6.99 for the tube. I got free shipping, which was uh, kind of lucky because I'm a Prime member. Um, this lasted for about four hours. My, and my denture popped out. One thing to keep in mind, I found out uh, by Dumb luck, I guess you could say. You can't eat anything hot. I tried to eat a hot soup at a restaurant. My lower and my upper, my lower and my bottom plate popped out. I nearly choked on my food. I almost had to spit it out. It was disgusting. I had to run to the bathroom, take my dentures out. I didn't have anything to clean with. I had to use paper towels uh, to try and get as much adhesive out of my mouth as I could so I can enjoy my food and take my teeth out, put it in my pocket, and go and finish my soup. Now, pro tip is, if you buy this fresh and bright, you'll get a little um, denture cleaning brush. Looks something like this, right? What I've done is I've taken the, the, the brush that comes with this, I put it into a little Ziploc with a um, travel size tube of toothpaste. And I threw that on my car, so if I'm out, and I have a, a, an issue with my dentures and I don't want to carry it down, you know, keep reapplying because you have to clean your dentures, right? In order to apply more denture adhesive, right? At least in my case, because denture adhesive sticks to the dentures themselves, right? So it's easier to just take them out, try and clean them off, put them in my pocket, clean my gums, and that little brush, that comes with the fresh and bright and some toothpaste will take care of that issue. Um, so um, 
This is the greatest thing to remove denture adhesive. Just some cheap bone mouthwash. Scope, Listerine. I bought the HEB alcohol free. I switch around vigorously in my mouth for a couple minutes. Breaks down most of the uh, denture adhesive. The cream though, it will not break down the powder. Okay. I have to take a brush, and like I said, I went and bought these toothbrushes uh, and the, the washcloth so I can scrape out that denture powder off, off my upper palate and probably maybe my lower gums tonight in order to clean them and get, the, get all that uh, adhesive out of there, out, out of my mouth, right? So... Um, I might update you guys on that, how that process went, because I'm just trying to, to fix that powder on my lower plate. And what I did is I took my upper plate this morning, put a few dots, put the dent, uh, dental powder on there, the fixing that powder on there, put it on my mouth, did the same thing with, but I used the secure on my lower, right? So I used the secure on my lower, little three strips like they suggest, little bit of powder put them in so far it's been holding very well i don't know how difficult the cleaning process is going to be i really don't want to put you guys through a 30 minute video watching me try to clean my gums so i'm not going to subject you all to that so that is my video and i hope you know if you're having the same problem as me where the denture adhesive is gelling up is staying liquid your dentures are falling off out after a couple hours, uh, maybe four hours. You're not getting that all day hold. Try to fix that powder and drop me a comment. See what you, let me know what you think, because I really, at this point, am enjoying that product. Even though it has a zinc in it, I take a zinc supplement. I may need to stop the zinc supplement while I'm using this because most of the fix dents have zinc in them. Unless it says, of course, zinc-free, which I haven't found in Fixident. I've only found that in Polygrip. And um, so, I hope everybody's healthy, happy. If you're on your journey, you're beginning to start your... Like I like to say, if you're going to start this journey, look at your alternatives. I, I wish I would have got a lower bridge. It would have made my life so much easier. I love my upper plate. I'm getting used to my bottom plate, my lower plate, um, and I know that's going to get better over time. Watching other YouTubers, I know it's going to get better over time. I just need to put in the hard work. So, um, like I said, if you're beginning your journey or you're maybe your post extraction or pre instructions, if you're pre extractions, please look at your alternatives. That's all I'm saying. Um, at least something for lower, um, you know, save yourself a little bit of money, uh, get a bridge, get, get something, get implants, whatever you need to do, whatever you can afford to do. If you have to go to the full denture plate, um, just know that it's going to get better. When I started this, I was in a lot of pain. I stopped wearing my dentures because they hurt so much. Now I'm almost a month in. They feel so much better. They don't feel natural in my mouth. I'm not going to lie to you, okay, and say, oh, these are great. I can chew. I can do everything. I haven't even began to start to eat with these things. I'm just beginning to learn how to talk with them in. And it, as you can see, I, I do have some difficulty with saying certain words. And I don't know if that's just the thickness of the denture or the way they were, the way they're aligned or... Um, you know, adjusted, so forth. Um, I'm sure other people have, could maybe explain that. So, I hope that everyone is healthy, happy, and if you're on your denture journey, I hope it's not too difficult for you, not too painful. If you're six years in and you're making YouTube videos, keep it up, because I'm telling you, you're helping a lot of people out there, okay? And, uh, you know, I just want to fill this gap for the new uh, denture wearers uh, like myself because, you know, 
you're a lot of people are six years out three years out four years out a year out and they don't explain this beginning process you know so that's all i wanted to fill that gap and um there was something else i want to talk about but uh, i forget um so like i like to sign off be healthy be happy if you have them please take the time and floss them cost you less than a penny a penny a day to floss your teeth go to the dollar store buy some little floss uh, picks and floss your teeth now, i tell you it's going to improve your health over time it's not going to be a quick fix it's, but it's going to help you save your teeth and i wish i would have done it believe me so i'm going to go ahead and sign off i love my teeth and it's less than 30 days in although my wife says they look too big for my mouth i think they uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to but um, they'll look different because you're, you're not used to seeing yourself with a full set of teeth so anyway take care everybody thank you too for stopping by